Hi, I'm Tom Hollingsworth with Tech Field Day, and I'm here with Nick Lippis. Hey, Tom. Nick, nice to talk to you. Excellent to talk to you. So why don't you tell me a little bit about ONUG and uh, a little bit about ONUG Academy and the ONUG Conference. Okay, great. You know, actually, ONUG was started with uh, myself and Ernest Liefner, who was with Fidelity, now with Board uh, Bank of America. And what we wanted to do is that um, we wanted to create an organization where users, IT execs, business IT leaders can come learn about open networking because um, what happened in open networking it was the whole uh, launching of choice. And there wasn't much real voice for IT execs in that process. So that's what ONUG is really all about. Outstanding. Now, this is your second ONUG conference. It What's is. the response been so far? It's, well, we're more than 2x on everything. You know? So it's like uh, the first ONUG was at Fidelity. They hosted us. Uh, we had about 150 people there, and it was a one-day event. Now at J.P. Morgan, it's an amazingly fabulous facility, and just the sheer fact that J.P. Morgan is hosting us sends a huge message to the marketplace that the IT execs want choice, they want open networking. So in, just in terms of, to answer your question is that we now have ONUG Academy because mm -hmm. we know that we need to train a whole new generation of people on how to think differently about networking, and then we also have the ONUG Conference. So we basically expanded to two days, and we went from 150 people, and we'll have almost 500 people here during these two days. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. And, and nine months, too. <laughs> yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Now, what yeah. are some of the major trends that you're seeing in open networking and, and SDN space in general? Yeah, well, I think the whole virtualized overlay marketplace is really the, the if you really kind of look at where open networking is, that's where all the innovation is, that's where all the, the, the pain is, and that's where a lot of the pilots and projects are. The other area where there's a huge amount of interest, um, mostly up in the um, kind of hyperscale organizations as well as mm -hmm. the cloud providers, is white box networking. And so there is a huge amount of interest you know, there as well. The key thing too around open networking, it's not just about kind of a one protocol around OpenFlow. There is a large um, group of technologies here. Linux is a big part of open networking for automation. So having Linux uh, hooks into both networking equipment, even IP storage that becomes part of an open networking fabric uh, is really important as well. So white box, virtual overlays are the two really key areas and especially Linux for automation. Come on down to the open networking user group at 270 Park Avenue at JP Morgan. Um, there's still a few seats left uh, for tomorrow which is October 30th. Now also, if you're not able to attend tomorrow, we are going to be doing uh, ONUG in the spring. That's going to be hosted at another bank in New York City. And then also, we're coming to the West Coast in the fall of 2014. So we have two big events planned for like 2014. We'd love to see you there. A group, great group of tutorials and also the classic ONUG conference, which is the conference is closed to press. It's closed to the vendor community. There's no recordings of it. And that's the only reason why we get so many great presenters that are exclusive. You can't hear them anyplace else. If you'd like to learn more about Tech Field Day and ONUG, you can check us out at techfieldday.com. You can watch some of the recorded videos and interviews and discussions. You can also head over to YouTube. Just search for Tech Field Day at ONUG and see all the great stuff we've been able to record here. Well, Nick, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. I know you're a busy man, and thank great. you for putting on ONUG. It's a really great opportunity for people to come and, and hear about the future of what networking is going to represent. Excellent. Great, Tom. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you all for listening. All right. Stay tuned for more videos.